PeachTools.com. G'day guys, Pete from Pete's Tools. Great to see you here again today. Hey, you know when you want to cut a lump of square tubing like this and you haven't got a drop saw and you're trying to use your plasma cutter, how it can be a right pain in the bum. Just to check out what I did. I made a little jig and it just makes life a little bit easier. It saves a lot of time as well. Anyway guys, if you like my video, subscribe as usual, eh? Drop me a like, drop me a comment and uh, I'll show you what I did. So I don't know about you fellas, but I just normally grab a square and just uh, square off whatever I'm trying to cut. Now if I'm doing it with the um, doing it with a drop saw is really easy of course, but if you're trying to do it by hand with a plasma cutter it gets a bit sucky. Well I think it does anyway. Um, I've never figured out really how to do it properly. Maybe you guys know some better trick than me, but I just made a little jig that I can do it with. And it just helps me out a little bit, you know. Um, rather than mucking around doing this all the time, see in there it's not even lined up, as you can see. You can see that. It's, well, it's almost lined up, but it's not. You see what I mean there? Maybe it's just me. Maybe I just haven't got enough patience. Anyway, so well, I'll... If you're going to cut that off with a plasma cutter and try and do it freehand, you're going to have to do it with a, with a um, guide. Going to cut it freehand with a guide like that. And then turn it and bang, bang, bang. And I think it's really, really slow and it's also not very accurate. So uh, this is what I do anyway, guys. So if you can find a piece of box section or a round, round square pipe, if you know what I mean. Um, whatever you like to call it. We call it box section here in New Zealand, but I don't know what you call it over there. Just see if you can get a piece of this. So this is a little, really short piece that's got a square end on it. Like that. See that end square? And uh, just, just so it slides over the whatever you're trying to cut. Now you wouldn't make one of these guides if, if you're only cutting one piece because it's going to be a real pain. But if you've got several or lots of these ones to cut at different lengths, then you might just pay just to invest 10 minutes and make one of this. So it's just, it doesn't have to fit in there perfectly. It can be, see that's quite big in there. And I'll show you what I did to it. So first of all, on your, your scrap piece that's going over your tube that you want to cut, make sure that there's no burrs or anything on it. But try and get the squarest end that you can or square up one end. Just take a little bit of time to square it up. Because this is going to be our guide. And then just take the burrs off the side of it, like this. Also any burrs in the middle of it, just take it off. And then if it happens to be painted, just take a bit of the paint off. Uh, so what, then what you need to do guys, just grab an old nut and bolt, just something like this. Just make sure the bolt goes all the way through, that it doesn't jam up like they normally do halfway. And then what you want to do is grab the plasma cutter and knock a hole in here just so the bolt goes through quite easily. But make sure that the, uh, the nut that you got here doesn't fall through because we'll just want to tack weld that on there. So we go through, no not quite, just a little bit more Pete, hee hee. This time, yep, goes through quite quite easily now, righty oady you coyote. So grab your nut and bolt and wind them through, just so when you tack weld it onto the pipe, that you know that you got it centred. Like that. Yeah. Doesn't take much at all, guys. Just make sure we can screw them in and out. Yep. Perfect, Pete. Perfect. Right, I'll just let this cool off and then I'll show you what I'm going to do with it. Hee <laughs> hee. So now you got your piece of box section here. You got your gizmo that you just made here with your square end on it. Just slide them over there until the mark that you want. Like there's where we put our mark before. Can you see the mark there? Slide them there and just give yourself enough room for the plasma cutter tip, so you're right on your mark, just make sure you measure it right. Tighten them up a little bit. Just with a grub screw here, you don't have to be really tight, just tight so it doesn't move. And then we're on about the line there. And then uh, we'll cut them, eh? Hee <laughs> hee!
There you go guys, now that's not too shabby. It's a pretty clean cut for a plasma cutter, pretty square if you ask me. It's quite square, check it out. You clean it up with the angle grinder and bobs your wombat. See, it's just if you haven't got a drop saw. And also the other advantage of this is that you don't have to keep measuring all the time. I'll show you. See that guys, that's the end we just cut. It's not too shabby really, freehand on a plasma cutter. I'll just uh, roll it around, let you have a look. Just a great angle grinder just to tickle that up and it would be nice and square. And this little contraption we made here is ideal if you're cutting just random lengths of the same size tube because you don't have to keep using your square to go around all the time. Here, I'll show you. All you do is just grab your tape, say we want four inches, so we want four inch lots, so it's about 100 millimeters. So four inch here, and we'll go down here, four inches. All you have to do is grab your square once and just get a, a line like so. Grab it again, you've got two lots there. Grab your little contraption that we made. Slide them on your line there. Just make sure you got enough for the, the tip of your plasma cutter so you cut exactly on the line. Do it up like so. Grab the old plasma, cut them off. Ready for your next one. Slide it over, go to your next line, do it up. Same thing again. So it's ideal if you haven't got a drop saw, guys. Just makes life a hell of a lot easier, eh? So guys, that's my little hack for what it's worth and save you a lot of time and drama if you're trying to cut square with the old plasma cutter. Especially if you're cutting a lot of um, round square tube, you know what I mean? And uh, it saves you measuring all the time. Anyway, that's just what I use. Anyway, you know, if the drop saw plays up or something like that. Anyway guys, if you like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment. And if you got a better idea than this, just let me know guys. See you later. Peach Tools.com.